Hello everyone, this video introduces the Toolbox Module Report. The report module consists of two main sets of functionalities. These are functionalities associated with generation of various types of reports and functionalities that could be used to export chemicals or data in different formats. The reports are formatted for human readers, with colors and pictures. They are not ideal for further computational data analysis. For this purpose, exports should be used, because they organize the data in tables ready for further computational processing. Now we will be focusing on the first group, reporting functionalities and more specifically, on the prediction report. For the second group, export functionalities, watch the exporting video tutorial. The reporting functionalities include, prediction report, allowing to generate a PDF report for a prediction obtained in toolbox. Data matrix, allowing to generate a CSV file with information for the chemicals, available in the toolbox data matrix. Category report, allowing to generate a PDF report for the similarity between the category members. QSAR model reporting format, allowing directly to generate the available model reporting formats for a selected QSAR model. Once we accepted a prediction for our target chemical, we can generate a prediction report, while the category and the data matrix reports can be produced even in absence of a prediction. When click the prediction button, the report wizard pages window appears. To customize the report by inclusion of a personal or company information, go to the target and prediction summary section. Here you will see blank fields where you can insert the relevant information. In addition, free text could be added also for the summary, mechanistic interpretation, and adequacy of the prediction. The other report sections will be automatically populated by toolbox. Once ready, click Create Report button. Two files are generated, Prediction Report, containing details on the prediction and how it is obtained and data matrix, containing information, extracted from the toolbox data matrix, regarding the target and the used analogs. The files could be opened or directly saved. Note that ACA Reach data might be not included in the report files unless the ACA Reach unlocking plugin is installed. If you want to know how to unlock ACA Reach database, please watch the repository tutorial that demonstrates how to install this plugin. Let's open the prediction report file. The report starts with summary information on the target chemical and obtained prediction. Then, details on the prediction are following. They include a figure on the last data gap filling stage when the prediction has been accepted, followed by a table with the used analogs. The prediction protocol section lists all of the steps done by the user to obtain the prediction. This is a new section of the report added in the latest toolbox version 4.6 and it is useful to reproduce the prediction in future. Within the next section references and explanations the reader or the assessor could get more information on each of the used databases, profilers and profiling results by a single click over the corresponding links. Also this section is new, and it allows to consult the documentation and explanation about toolbox modules relevant for the prediction also to users who have accessed the report but may not have the QSAR toolbox installed on their computers. The final section of the prediction report includes a summary table with the organic functional groups identified in the target and analogs. In case of additional functionalities present in the analogs, but not in the target chemical, they will be highlighted in red. Users are advised to critically analyze the structural differences and add their comments on why these differences are not expected to lead to differences in the toxicity of the target and the analogs. Now, let's open the data matrix report. The first sheet of the data matrix file provides information, such as physicochemical properties, experimental data, and profiling results, available in the toolbox data matrix for the target and used analogs. The second sheet, Category Boundaries, provides information for the range of variation of various properties of the analogs and whether the property values of the target chemical falls within the specified ranges or not. Additional data matrix sheets should be generated depending on the user's work in toolbox, for example, if the user defined their category taking into account the metabolism, or if the metabolites of the target have been preliminary plotted on the data matrix. These additional sheets will be further exemplified along with the relevant tutorials on the metabolism. Congratulations! Now you become familiar with generation of toolbox reports. 
If you want to know more about QSAR Toolbox, watch the other video tutorials.